fashion isn't all about New York and Paris runways. Right here in Texas, we've got a style all our own, sometimes a little bit country or a little bit rock and roll. Yeah, joining us now to show off some rockin' boots for fall is Adriana Rizzo, Senior Director of Product for Lucchese. I got my Lucchese's on. I know, on. I was gonna say nice boots. Oh. Very nice, JB. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, they're so, I love my Lucchese's. Wear them all the time. I don't have a pair yet. Oh, well, we're gonna have to work on that. No, I noticed <laughs> yours and um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk <laughs> <you> after. <laughs> <laughs> She's already busting you on oh, your I boots. Yours yeah, and then, yeah, I got mine on. Okay, then. So today, instead of focusing on how bad my boots are, <laughs> you brought some very nice models yes. who are going to show us some of, uh, of bootwear fashion, right? Yeah, so we're going to work, start with our boots and work our way up with our outfits. Okay, okay. let's do it. Let's bring out our first model. Model number so, one. Yeah, this is Ben Sasani. He's a professional photographer, and you can check out his blog, Shoot My Chef. And he's wearing our Reed Cognac Giant Alligator Loafer. Wow, that's Wait, yeah. you said loafer, so you loafer. guys do a lot more than just Absolutely. Boots. So we've challenged our factory and our artisans to come out with some footwear, and they've done a tremendous job. And then he's paired it with a pair of jeans. We're calling this our country estate look. And a great little tartan plaid shirt for fall, a quilted vest. And then our matching giant gator cognac handbag. Because if you're going to go away that. for the yeah. weekend, where are you putting your necessities? It looks like he's about ready to go out yeah, to the ranch so or he's going to a football right. game. It's a the real classic, cool. classic yeah. look. I'm such a fan of, of bags because, I, you know, I always have stuff hanging out of my pockets. This is a great look, and I love how it ties in with those loafers. This looks fantastic. Very those nice. loafers are phenomenal. And a little styling tip, if you want, you can cuff your jeans so you can show off a little more of your loafer. Okay, Ben, thank you very much. Let's move on to our second model. This is also a men's look. Yeah. City Western. City Western. So our model oh, yeah. marquee, or we're calling it Houston um, Western. So this is for the guy who's a city guy, but we're starting with a great Western shirt in purple, which is very traditional. Little pop of turquoise. Can't not have your outfit complete without a trophy buckle. A dark pair of jeans with a slight Even boot cut. Even if you don't have a trophy. Even if you don't have a trophy, you can look the part. Um, a dark pair of jeans with a slight boot cut to fit over your boots, which are obviously what makes this outfit. So we have a great pair of Western boots. They're made of um, Ultra Belly Cayman. And if you just want to pull up your pant a little bit so we can show off our boots. The um, boot is really cool. And it also nice. has sort of a blunted toe on the edge, yes. which I really like. So that's like. our seven toe. And then we have a really subtle stitch pattern. And we have little bits of inlays of our Ultra Belly Cayman also on the, the shaft of the boot. So these are like the dress boots. These are the dress boots. So this is a dress Western look. And he just threw on a blazer so you could either wear this to work or going out at night. Um, and it's a really great sharp city western There is look. nothing sexier than a man in a great pair of boots I and a know, suit. It right? is absolutely fantastic. It looks very nice. Yeah, Thank you very much. Okay, moving on to our third model. This is a women's equestrian look. Yes, and our model is Mega. And she is a local food blogger at Hot Pink Houston. And cool. so this is our equestrian look. And we got our start making uh, military boots for the cavalry in 1883. I didn't know that. And so this is really just an update to that, our lieutenant boot in suede. And then we paired it back with a great pair of white skinny jeans, which most people have in their closet. And yes, you can wear white in the winter, as long as it's a little heavier denim. With the suede, you got any tips with to keep them looking fabulous like this? Don't run out in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Yeah. No, just be careful. But we have cleaning products and, and products that you can coat your boots with to awesome. make sure that they last a long time. That bag is fabulous, too. Yeah, and we paired it with an ostrich bag and a great little denim top, which, again, most people have in their closet. And then for fall, you just put a nice little shawl on. Keep yourself warm, yeah, which is it's, perfect for our weather. You can it's also take cool it off. that it's equestrian, but this yes. totally works for anything. I love it. Yeah. It's modern. It's fresh. It's, yeah. You don't look dated. And I, I will point out that we have um, our buckles are little stirrup details on there. Oh, Mega, I like thank that. Thank yeah. you so much. And like any age range could wear that. All right. Model number four. We've got uh, another women's so, look. Yeah. This is a little bit country. and this. Oh, is, you're getting us ready for rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> this is Nikki, and she's our assistant store manager at the Houston store um, in Highland Park Village. Looks good, Nikki. And she is wearing our Maxine ombre boot. And the great thing about these boots, if you can only invest in one pair, the ombre starts with a dark color and works itself up to a light tone. So you can really pair it with more outfits. Right. And we paired it with a great fringe suede skirt, which is always traditional and Western. A nice little white button down classic and denim. So you can't go wrong with your denim and your suede. And we have on her a vintage uh, turquoise 
squash blossom necklace from the 1940s. Oh, wow. So she is ready is for rodeo. Fabulous. Yeah. Absolutely. Indeed. Thank you so much. All right. And our very last look, this is the rock and rock roll. Rock and roll. Yeah. We got a little bit of rock and roll. So oh, yeah. this cool. is Abby. She's a fashion blogger at shopgirlblog.com. And really the star of this outfit are the ankle boots. Yeah. So these are our Celeste boots, and it's a hand-tooled eagle. And you can see that the wings span all the way to the back, almost giving it a 3D look. So she looks great coming from the front or the from back. the back. That is so And we just cool. paired it with a black legging, a great little silky plaid top, and of course a moto jacket. Yeah. Jennifer Broom, those boots Aww. have your name they written so all well. over Yeah, them. and if, you, if you're looking for a statement piece, these, these ankle boots are it. Those are fabulous. I think I need to put those on my wish list. I think maybe so. <laughs> you look fantastic. Thank you so much, Thank Audriana. you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we love having you, even though I do kind of feel bad about my boots now. <laughs> all right, so coming <laughs> up, are you guys hungry and you're in a hurry, but you can't quite stomach the drive through Houston Life reporter Stephanie Gary shares some of Houston's best, fresh, fast, and healthy food options that'll keep your taste buds and your waistline happy. That's next.